Welcome back to Gypsy Fade Creations. Today's video is kind of a challenge for myself. One of my co-workers suffers from acne and she was going to go out to the store and buy a bar of lavender soap and I'm not going to let that happen. So I've done a little research, I've collected a whole bunch of ingredients that are all really good for acne and skin care and I'm going to make a soap out of it. So let's get started and make an acne soap. I make all my soaps with I've just scaled it down a bit to make some smaller bars in smaller molds and my sodium lactate lye water solution and we're just gonna mix these as normal pouring down our kitchen vibrator giving it a whirl. Looks good. Set that off to the side. Alright, ingredients I have here, what I'm working with is I got some rose clay. This is from Brambleberry. Um, it's going to make a very pretty pink color and then I have some activated charcoal from Wholesale Supplies Plus and a little bit of this goes a long way like I've been working with a little bag for a very long time um, so rose clay and activated charcoal they're both um, very good natural colorants in soap um, they had exfoliant properties they detoxify dry out impurities which cleans purifies and removes oils so that's why I've chosen those I also have some lavender oil, essential oil, and then I've mixed in some tea tree oil and clary sage in here. Um, all of these essential oils have antiseptic, antifungal, antimicrobial, antibacterial properties to them, and not to mention that lavender smells really, really good, and it's very relaxing. Um, so that's why I've got those here. I have my rose clay in this little teeny tiny container here. Um, I mixed it with some water and it's just going to be just like a little accent color. The majority of the soap is going to be black and this is going to make a pink. Only maybe I should have chosen a bigger container to mix it in. I'll come back to that. <clears throat> Give me a moment. Alright, let's do this one. You don't want to use a lot of activated charcoal. You know, it's kind of up to your own preference though. Um, it makes a really good color and so the less you put in it, the lighter the color, the more you put in it, the darker the color. So there's different kinds of activated charcoal. There's the kind that come from like coconuts, and then there's the kind that come from hardwoods. Both really good, both really do the same thing. Um, I've never used the coconut kind. The kinds I use are the hardwoods. Alright, done making that mess. So I'm definitely planning on keeping one of these bars for myself. Um, not really a big acne prone household here, um, no pimples I guess, but we do have lots of blackheads. So I'm going to give it a try on blackheads and see how that goes and give one of these to my co-workers <clears throat> who suffers from pimples and see how it goes. Alright, so I've got my oils here, I'm just going to split this up. It's very medicinal smelling. I love it. Mix that in. Alright, 
So I've got a few different molds I'm working with here. I just grabbed whatever I thought would look good. I got this guy off of Amazon. He's really cheap. I'll leave the link below for that. Some silicone cupcake liners make a good um, circle. I feel like that would be a nice size. And then I have this random little Celtic mold here that I think I got from AC Moore. So we're going to work with both of those. But I'm going to start with these little guys. I'm going to start with pouring in the black. Ah, before I go any further, I always mess this part up until I get to the end and then I'm like regretting it. I grab like a cookie sheet or a cutting board and you can start from there. That way when you do have it all in there, it's easier to pick up, it's easier to transport, it's easier to like tap everything down like so. So back to what we were doing here. Spread that out, make it even. And then I'm going to take the rose clay and just kind of put some on the top there. sit for probably 12 to 24 hours since they're smaller bars it shouldn't take too long to set up and I'll be going be back to unmold these guys with you all right just wanted to do a quick unmolding and show you guys how these turned out I love this mold it makes the perfect little size and probably clean them up a little bit I'll get a um a vegetable peeler and just go around the edges. I love how all natural looking this soap turned out. Still a little soft. Sticking a little bit on that one. So I'll let these cure for about three to four weeks before I give them out for a test and see how well they work. <clears throat> If they're good, I'll have to make more and I'll put them for sale in the shop. So fingers crossed that everyone likes these. Alright guys, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. <clears throat> and until next time, smell you later.